Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee, and today I will be showing you a workaround for using title case and InDesign styles, even though there is no way to integrate it uh, into your style automatically or with InDesign's built in options. So let's look at this document that I've made here. In this document, I have an H1, I have a body style, and a bullet. The problem lies here. I want these H1s to be in title case. And what that means is that I want each first letter of each word to be capitalized, but not necessarily all of them. I would like for these lower case, uh, these smaller words like to and a and is to remain lower case. So a proper title case sentence would look like this. So this is a proper title case sentence. Now you saw that I just manually changed the first characters of each word in order to make them capitalized, except for the small words that I did not want capitalized, like is, a, the, to, be, and other small conjunctions like that. Now, there is a way to change case a bit more quickly in the type menu up here. In the type menu, if you come to type and scroll down to change case, you are able to change case to uppercase, lowercase, title case, and sentence case. I'm going for title case, so I'll go ahead and click that. Now we can see that this sentence has become title case. This is fine for this single sentence, but I want to change my style for every instance of this H1. So let's go ahead and edit our H1 paragraph style. We'll double click on that here. And let's pull this over and look at this. So if we go to basic character formats, we can see that the current case is set to normal. And we can also see that there is small caps, all caps, open type. Um, but there is no setting in paragraph styles to change the case of your uh, characters. What that means is that we cannot change the case of our sentence into sentence case, which means that the first letter of the sentence is capitalized. And it also means that we cannot change the case of our sentence to title case. So what's the workaround for that? Let's exit out of here and I will explain. I'm going to go ahead and undo everything that I did manually. So here we are where we started. Lucky for us, there are some really smart people who have figured out how to use the find and change dialog box to do this in a sort of workaround way. I'm going to click Control F to open up the find change. For this, we want to be in the grep style tab here. We do not want to be in the text style tab. So we will go to grep. Now there is a line of code or sort of code that I'm going to paste into here. And this piece of code was written by somebody a lot smarter than me. I don't actually know what it means, but from what I can tell, it essentially goes in and searches for instances of these characters and it's going to capitalize them. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the format of H1 and we're going to change that format to all caps. So what you're going to see now is this find change is going to run through and capitalize the first character of every single word in these H1s. So I'm going to go ahead and run through that. It seems like it's finding them. Yep. I'm going to tell it to change all. So if we zoom in and look, now we can see that 
every single word in our H1 has become capitalized. So that's great and all, but what do we do about these single words that we do not want to be capitalized? These small little conjunctions or other words that simply don't need to be capitalized. Fortunately, there's also a workaround for that. So I'm going to clear this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to enter all of those words that we think we want to be lowercase. So for example, we want the word A to be lowercase. So I'm gonna type the word A in here. Now what we need to do is find just the conjunction A. We do not want to change the A that is in case or that or have or want. We want only A by itself. So I'm going to put some spaces on either side, a space here and a space here. Now that A has a forced space around it, which is what we we're looking for. Now back over here, I'm going to change this format to normal. We no longer want that A to be all caps, we want it to be normal. I'm going to click OK. And now it should run through and look for all instances of A. And it will change it. So the next thing is we don't want to have to do this individually for every single instance of these conjunctions. Fortunately, there is a nice little way we can separate them. In our find change, what we're going to do is we're going to add all of those instances of the word. So I'm going to do space A space, and then I'm going to use this vertical line separator by clicking shift backslash on your keypad. Now I'm going to do another space, and I'm going to do the space vertical space slash and I'm going to keep entering all of those words that I think I would want a uh, lowercase. Once you get to the end of the list you don't need any more of these vertical slashes so I'm going to backspace on that one but I am going to make sure that I leave this last space here around as. Now if we run through and look the find chain should find multiple instances of these words. Now we're going to run into a problem here. If you see the word two, it is only going to find that word two and it's not going to see B next to it. So when you have an instance of two conjunctions together, we have to do another workaround for this. At the beginning of this list is where we're going to put all of those double conjunctions. So I'm going to put space. 2, B. The reason that we put these at the beginning is because we want the program to catch these first. If it catches 2, B, then it catches the whole phrase. But if it runs through the list and it catches 2 first, then it will no longer be able to catch B anymore, the 2, B phrase. So I'm going to go ahead and type all of those uh, double conjunctions up in the beginning. Now if we run through, it's catching those double ones. I'm going to go ahead and tell the program to change all. And let's have a look at what we got. Here is a missing instance of is. I think we caught everything other than that. So I'm going to undo what I did and try to see if I can catch the problem in find change. I think I simply forgot to insert is as its own individual. There we go. Let's try it again. Yep, there we got it. So this is extremely useful if you have an entire book document um, where you need title case throughout it and you don't want to manually go through and change all of them. 
a lot of times InDesign sees that um, this function as an override, so be careful about that. If you clear overrides, you're going to lose that title case formatting. Um, so this is something that you don't want to do until you're absolutely sure that the rest of your book is ready to go and you're not no longer synchronizing it. Okay, everybody, I hope that helped. Um, if you, this video helped you out, let us know in the comments below and go ahead and like and subscribe. It really helps us out. All right, guys, thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.